אוקיי, היי אבריוואן, אני וולקאם, חג שמח. זה uh, very uh, exciting this time of חנוכה, that uh, it gives us the ability and the opportunity to cleave ourselves with all the blessings of the oraganuz, that uh, concealed light that we can... Uh, Just a second, I'm hearing somebody to unmute yourself. Okay. Think you can hear me? No, yes. Can you hear me? You can hear me? Yes, okay. Okay, thank you. So we can cleave ourselves with the energy of um, Oraganus, the concealed light, and uh, we can draw the light of... Um, miracles to our life you know one of the things that the Kabbalists explain that uh, the power of because uh, we want to concentrate right now uh, it's not a seminar about Hanukkah but we want to con- concentrate our consciousness about the opportunity of every day there is an opportunity that we can uh, cleave ourselves with the energy of Zdaka so <coughs> one of the things that the Kabbalists explain and I'm going to share with you uh, From the Kabbalist there is in a few places it actually it's appeared this is something I sent you so you can scan it even every day or also in the meditation it's something from Rabbi Yosef Karo we know Rabbi Yosef Karo he wrote the Shulchan Aruch and what he says here about the importance of uh, giving tzedakah giving charity in every day of Hanukkah we know that every day have different type of energy Right, so we can, you know, I'll put a chart, you can scan the chart. You can see every day we have different type of light that uh, reveal. Let's say today is the first day. So it's Malchut, light of Malchut, the vessel of Bina, and then we have light of Yesod, vessel of Chesed, right? And it's going into like all of the lights and the vessels. So every day we have different opportunity to download different type of blessings and, different type of lights and vessels to our life and for the world. So what I would like to do with you today, it's a, we're going to do a meditation for donation that you can use this meditation every day and you get the link. Again, the amount, whatever you want to put, <coughs> it's on you. Uh, the Kabbalists, you know, they don't put amount, they just say share and give tzedakah. Of course, when we do in tzedakah to remove, it needs to be a little bit difficult need to be hard for me to do so some people it's hard for them to give even five dollar or ten dollar or maybe a million dollar but it's according to the vessel of the person so you will decide whatever amount you want but I send you the link that you can uh, do it every day that let's say let's say when you light in the candles after you light in the candles you take like two three minutes and you do the meditation and you do the donation. So the donation actually will help in us to remove judgments from our life. And also, as Rabbi Yosef Karo explained, it will purify our desire to receive oneself alone. It will purify our nefesh. Okay? That it's something that uh, all of us, I'm sure, want to, to do and to have and because we want to cleave ourselves um, with the energy of miracles, energy of blessings. We want to raise ourselves above nature. above this uh, energy of time, all right? So what we, what we would like to do right now, I will show you again the letters of the Yud K, Vav K. And uh, you can just look at the letters. Now, if you're driving now or if you cannot close your eyes, so don't do that, just listen to the meditation and... Uh, Every time you do the meditation every day, you can just start from that uh, place and you can do it. Um, I will announce in the meditation, you know, all of the levels of the candle lighting of every day. So you will have it in your consciousness, the first day, second day, third day, etc., etc. So you can also meditate on that. So, but if you can, if you can and you at home and you can... Uh, Close your eyes and you can do the meditation like it's a very quick meditation so do so uh, you don't have to do the meditation right now with me but you can if you can't you can do it after 
while you doing the donation, the charity, and also after the candle lighting. So let's first of all meditate to be one soul with our spiritual teachers, Rav and Karen, Yosef, Atzadik and Shechem, the Holy Temple in Jerusalem, all the friends around the world. We like to cleave ourselves with the energy of the Oreganuz, energy of miracles and wonders, to remove judgments from our life and from the entire world, and to purify our nefesh, purify our desire to receive for oneself alone. So we like to meditate the first letter Yud, as we know, represent the money. So while we're holding our money in our right hand, we're meditating, meditating that we're holding the letter Yud. Then the hand, it's the letter He. It's good to look at the letters and then you can close your eyes and meditate. As your right hand, it's the letter He. Your arm is the letter Vav. Me, I'm the receiver. It's called the Sod of Ziran Pin. And my right hand is the He of Malchut. So you want to now decide in your mind, I'm doing Tzedakah. Tzedakah, Tatzil Mimavet. Tzedakah will save me from death. I'm doing that Tzedakah at the time of Chanukah. I want to cleave myself with the energy of the Oroganuz, the Conceal Light, to draw into my life and for the world energy of miracles and wonders. And I want to purify my desire to receive oneself alone, purify my nefesh. And we would like to meditate this energy as we do it every day. So I'm just going to mention the lights and the vessels. First day, light of Malchut, vessel of Bina. Second day, light of Yesod, vessel of Chesed. The third day, light of Hod, vessel of Gvura. The fourth day, light of Netzach, Vessel of Tiferet, the fifth day, light of Tiferet, vessel of Netzach, the sixth day, light of Gvura, vessel of Hod, the seventh day, light of Chesed, vessel of Yesod, the eighth day, light of Bina, vessel of Malchut. So now, let's take a second, you can meditate. If you have a specific areas that you would like to purify your nefesh, your desire to see for oneself alone, or if you have any judgment you would like to remove, you can do it right now in this moment. In a general way, you can keep in mind, you can ask from the light, please, I'm doing now tzedakah, tzedakah tzil mimavet, tzedakah will save me from death. Please remove judgments from my life and change my movie to better movie. So let's take a few seconds to meditate. Also remember you can do it next to the candles. So you're revealing all the light of the conceal light, the organus, through the candles. It's good to do this meditation while the candles are lit. Also, you can pray next to the candle. You can read Zohar next to the candles. When you're ready, put the money in the right hand. Close your eyes again. Release your thoughts. Forget about the action you just did. 
You created now an angel. The angel go to the upper world. When we do in the let go, forget about the actions we just did. They can open the gate for the angel in the upper world. They can say this donation came from this person for that pur purpose. You're doing the halfway, the light doing the other half. You prepare in your vessel, the light is fulfilling the vessel. Take all this energy you draw from above, from the organos, from the concealed light, energy of miracles and wonders, energy of purifying our nefesh, our desire to receive oneself alone, and deposit all of this energy, all of those blessings in your cosmic bank. That this light will be there for you for the time you'll need it. Beautiful. Okay. Any questions? Beautiful, beautiful. So I want to wish uh, all of us Chag Sameach, Shabbat Shalom, Miracles and Wonders, and good luck, good luck, guys. We're going to bring a lot of light to our life and to the world. Bye, all the best. Bye-bye.